Amen. Amen. Praise God. So let's pray together. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Father in heaven, we just come before you tonight. Lord God, we just lift you up, Father. We thank you, Lord that God, for your grace, Lord, that has come upon each one of us, Lord, to see that you are the Savior and the King of the entire world, not only of our souls. And Father, we just uh, are here tonight, Lord, to just uh, mainly for the persecuted church, Lord, suffering all over the world. And uh, God, we just uh, lift them up to you right now all over the world, Lord, in China, in Nigeria, Saudi Arabia, Lord, in, in Egypt, Lord. There's many Christians being persecuted all over the world, Father. And we just lift them up to you right now where they are. And God, we just pray, God, that you would just convict our hearts, Father God. Lord, you would convict their hearts, Lord. Convict the hearts of these people. Father, in Jesus' name, I just bind and rebuke every demonic spirit, Father, that would come against, Lord, your word being lifted up in this country, Father God. In Jesus' name, we just bind and rebuke every demonic spirit. I pray you would silence the mouths of those who hate you, Lord. They don't even realize that this country was founded on your holy word. And that's why they have the freedom they have in this country. And God, we just continue to pray for the persecuted church, Father, that you would just hew down their enemies, Father. Or that you would just protect them tonight where they are all over the earth, world, Father God. Just cover them, Father God. I pray that you would, uh, Lord, that your spirit would rise up in their spirits, Lord God, and they would sing songs to you, Lord, and that their songs would even spill on their tormentors and they would be converted, Lord. That you would shake the prisons that many Christians are being held in and persecuted as we pray right now, Lord. There's many Christians being persecuted and are held in prisons. Father, we pray you would shake the prisons and open them, Lord, even with your mighty angels, Father God, as we read in the book of Acts. And Father, we just continue. Give us the strength and the courage to stand for you in this country, Lord, that you blessed and you prospered. And I pray, we pray, Father, for national repentance, Lord. We pray even in Canada, Father, for national repentance, that people would turn back to you, or that people would see the error of their ways, Lord, and pour out your spirit of repentance, Father God, and just have your way today as we gather here in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you, brother. God bless Canada. You saw for yourself the main signs of persecution. We just get started, and the guy in the taxi was just... He was drunk. <laughs> As many, he's a drunk. It's virtually his life. It's virtually he's a drunk because many people cannot see the truth because they're in the spirit of a drunk. Is you know, spirit of this world. That's the spirit of the true Father, the true God, Almighty God. Not by the power of the Holy Spirit, we are awake and we can see the truth. Again, we are here to stand in solidarity with our brothers and sisters, the Christians who's being persecuted globally. There's a serious genocide going on in Nigeria. If you are watching the fake news, it's time to turn off your TV on CBC, on CTV, on global TV, on all fake media, and turn on to the right news and see what's going on. There's many ladies who got killed. There's many pregnant women who got shot in their tummies while the baby inside them, and they killed them both. You go ahead and search it and look into it by yourself. If you don't believe us, there's a serious persecution going on in the Middle East, especially for Christians who's like us, who's a post-state, who came to Christ, who left Islam, and starting to speak the truth and spread the truth and teach people the right path. Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. There's no man and women can come to the Father without the blood of Jesus. Amen. And the blood of the Christian is not cheap. The voice of the Christian, it must be heard. And it will be heard. And no matter how many people try to quell us, like Ikra Khaled, the liberal MB, the Pakistani Muslim who tried to quell us, with the motion M103 and claiming that we are Islamophobic, we are here to tell them, you are the Christianophobic yeah. who are fearing the truth when we see and talk and speak with authority that's been given to us as the children of God. Amen. In the name above every name, yeah. the name of Jesus, we're going to start with our uh, speakers. We're going to be here for a while, but not for long. And thank you, first of all, 
posted at Toronto Police. Yes. A big round yes. for Toronto yes. Police. God bless you. Yes. They've been always, always there for us. I, we came to cross many rallies and always the police is there, the presence of police yes. Yes. to protect us, to make sure that we are free to speak our minds. And we're not here to agitate or, or insult anybody. We're here to speak the truth and only the truth. And we're here to stand in solidarity again with the brothers and sisters who are facing it really hard. They're facing torture and killing and murdering and raping. Kids are being killed and raped and tortured. We need to say enough. It's enough with the Christian persecution. And we're going to start with our first speaker, our brother John. He's also been well known with his 